Hello and welcome back, my fellow Vuperians, to the Powder Toy! Wah! Look at that beautiful samurai sword. I can draw powder all over you. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and open up Planet Map. My favorite map, by the way. Planet. There's a little bit more I want to do with the Planet Map uh, before before we start going into other topics, and that's this time I want to play around with gravity bombs. I've never actually used them before. Um, I don't even know how to make a gravity bomb. I don't know if there's an element, but I've seen people do it before. Maybe we should just mess around with many different bombs. <laughs> All right, one second. So there's, there is gravity particles, right? The singularities isn't there. One second, singularity. Sing Ooh, creates huge amounts of negative pressure. All right, let's see. Oh my god! <laughs> They're not kidding. Wow. I put a black hole in the mi- Is it just there somewhere now? Can I delete it? Or is the pressure just there forever now? Wow, that was small as- Oh, there we go. Oh my god! What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Do you see the amount of damage that did? Oh, holy moly! Wow! Okay, the singularity is not something you mess around with. Alright, if we put a singularity, like, a little bit past the moon, what happens? A small one like that. Play. Oh my god! It's- it's pulling the mountains off! Alright, let's go ahead and put a bigger one. Wow! That is so violent! It just completely destroyed the entire moon, and now it's just engulfing the entire planet. That is absolutely insane. One second, one second. Let's put some inside of the planet. What could possibly go wrong? Oh my god! <laughs> it just crushes it into nothingness. Look at it slowly disappear. A shell of its former self. Oh, it's traveling! Oh, that's neat, it like moves around. That is so evil. Wow, okay, so the Singularity may actually be the most powerful weapon I've seen so far. That's a lot of fun. <laughs> Alright, let's try other things. I'm kind of curious, what about Proton? Well, Protons seem to just transfer heat, right? I did not expect it to be quite that dramatic, I'll be honest. What just happened? I mean, I hit it with some protons, but not- Did that... change the temperature of the gravity pump? That is affecting the gravitational field! Wait, what the heck? Oh my god, it's- it's actually causing the gravitational field to get stronger. What on earth? Is that- is that intentional? Is that supposed to happen? I don't know if that's a bug or what, but look, when it hits the center... Fuck. What the heck? Is that because of the deuterium freaking out? Wait, deuterium freaks out with protons? I wasn't even aware of that. I thought only neutrons freaked it out. And this needs to be tested. I'm gonna break this open. Oh my god, they do. I was completely unaware that that reacted in that way. Okay, learn something new every day. So if we created like a proton burst from the moon. Ooh. That is spicy. Wow. Proton burst from the moon can do a lot of damage. Of course, why is there a proton burst from the moon, you may ask? Then the protons heat everything up so we can just melt... melt everything. Very nice. They pass through everything as well. That is... that is just brutal. Alright, so we've learned the danger of the protons now. Broke vibranium stores energy and releases it in... 
Violent explosions. Sounds like my sort of thing. Is it solid? Oh, it is. Oh, maybe it's not. It is. Right, let's put a little mound of it here and see if it actually does... Store temperature, maybe? Heat temp... Heat energy? Yeah, if we heat this up really hot. Let's see what happens. It's getting bright. It is getting pretty darn bright. It's now at a thousand degrees. Oh, it's glowing now. It's flashing. Oh, does that mean it's going to explode? Oh god, it's flashing faster. Oh no, is this it? Oh, look at that! Oh my god, that's really neat. Wait, so if I just surround one moment, I'm I'm getting more curious now. Curiosity killed the cat, you know. Vibranium around this super, super hot molten. Is it going to pick up all the energy? Oh my god, that picked up the energy really quickly. Best element for cooling? <laughs> Alright. Honestly, the gravitational field's going to add a lot of energy to it as well, I bet. Ooh. We're actually noticing the uh, power of it all the way out there. Oh! Oh. Oh. Oh, it's angry. It's angry. <laughs> it's very angry. There it goes, it's flashing. What's gonna happen? Oh my god! Those particles must have been really hot! They melted the entire surface of the planet off! Oh, and it pulled it all back with the gravity! Kind of like a double attack. What is going on in the center? What on earth is going on? There's... Is that exotic? It is. I don't really know what exotic does, though. Oh, there's a ton of it. What does it do? I'm really curious. Let's try cooling it down and see what the uh, exotic actually does. I don't really know what the element... Oh, it's like a flashing... Flashing water... Look at it go. I don't know what I've created. Let's see if I can find exotic. Explodes with excess exposure to electrons. Has many other odd reactions. Okay, what happens if we put neutrons in it? That did something to it. Huh, it turned it into glass and stuff. Interesting, so... Neutrons turn it back into normal material, I guess. Protons? Protons don't seem to have an effect. Let's go ahead and try sparking it. Oh no, we need electrons. Uh, which is right here. Okay, exotic. Let's see what you got. Let's go ahead and add some... Oh, it's a liquid. That makes it a lot easier to work with. Okay, so we have this moon made of exotic matter now. Actually, let's restart and uh, cover it in exotic matter. I want to see what the damage is. There we go. Okay, beautiful. Look at the, uh, the exotic matter actually getting pulled in this direction towards the bigger planet. Very nice detail. Okay. Ooh! Look at it sparking everything. But that reaction was neat. Look at it go. Now I'm curious. Okay, 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 okay. I'm, I'm curious. I have to try something out. So if we cover this... ...in a shield... Oh no, that doesn't work. I have to do this first. Okay, if we cover this in exotic... Oh, that is way too much. Let's do like that much. I barely even changed it. <laughs> okay, let's do that and then let's grab and put a titanium ring around it to hold it in place. All right, so now we can actually trap the electron. Will spark work? No, it has to be electrons. That's fine. Okay, so we have the containment chamber and then if we pop electrons in, see what happens. Oh man, it 
really looks freaked out. Oh, it's a rainbow now. What? What the actual heck? Oh, it's very angry rainbow. What have I made? Oh, that is a very angry rainbow. Okay, we kind of aimed it in the wrong direction. <laughs> so let's try this again. Cover this with exotic matter. Cover it and we'll aim it this way this time. Make it real thin. There we go. Okay, ready? See what happens. Oh, we don't want to spark. We want to use electrons. Okay. So this... Oh! What temperature is this hitting? 1500 degrees, 1000 degrees. These little particles are... 1300? Well, look at that! That is death by a rainbow right there. Oh. Let's see, what happens if we fill the core of this planet? That was a terrible idea. Uh, let's put it in the core. Like, down here. Put it here. We'll put a secret containment chamber, as all people do. You don't even hide your exotic matter under the surface of the planet. What's, what's wrong with you? Okay. We fill this up with exotic. And let's go ahead and hit it with everything we've got. Okay, it is sufficiently angry. Oh, maybe it's not sufficiently angry. It's very rainbow. There we go, now it's sufficiently angry. Okay, so the central area of this is at 9,000 degrees! This is the hottest it gets! 9,700. Wow! Oh man, it's gonna rip the planet in half! We ripped the planet in half! <laughs> oh my god. Half of the planet just disappeared, and now it's reforming itself from the ashes. Hey look, some of the exotic matter ended up... No, that's water. Water ended up on the moon from this. Wow. Oh, and the deuterium leaked out as well. That's unfortunate. Uh, we, we can probably deal with that, but safer not to. <laughs> okay, uh, let's go ahead and grab our cool tool. Oh, we don't want to cool the... Uh... Wow, this is what's left. I mean, it could have been worse. There's still some of a planet left. Even some... Oh no, that's just... It's just the vibranium. Yeah. Yeah, not looking too hot after that. <laughs> it's a very sad planet. Wow. Okay, so these materials, I'm learning so much. Isotope Z, radioactive liquid, decays into photons when touching photons. Radioactive liquid. Oh, and this stuff is still freaking out. I have a feeling that the the damage we have done is going to be like a slow and, and painful death for this planet years after the initial attack. Yeah, look at it go. It's just randomly exploding because of these little bits of vibranium left in it. Huh. <laughs> I guess it doesn't get a break. Okay, let's cover it in this liquid. I'm sure this won't be dangerous in any way, shape, or form. I promise you. Alright. Let's see what happens. Proton. It's supposed to make more protons, right? Okay. Can we hit... So... It is forming more protons, which are going through the center, and it's actually kind of passively cooling the entire thing. But we need more than that. Right? Did it say decays into photons? Oh, photons, light. Oh, there it go. Oh my god, look at that. What the actual heck is going on? 
Oh, it's so bright. That is really neat. I don't even know what's happening. All right, let's test this on the moon because that's what I'm best at, moon testing. That's what the moon is for. Slow destruction with testing. All right, we'll hit it with a few photons. There's one bouncing. Oh, they're kind of spawning more, but we'll hit that point with a runaway react. Yeah, it does look like it's starting. I mean, photons aren't really dangerous. They transfer some energy and heat, but they shouldn't destroy the world. Um, wow, look at that. Man, I don't even know what we've created. <laughs> What does this one do? Solid form slowly decays into photons. Really? Just natural? Oh, it does. Huh. All right, that's interesting. What if you put a really large amount? I'm just, I'm just curious. Oh no, it's gonna attack. Ah, the plague. <laughs> I accidentally dropped a massive amount of, of like radioactive sus substance on the planet. I hope nobody minds. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Whoops. I mean, it seems to be pretty stable. I mean, the temperature is rising, but considering... Considering what I've done, this could be worse. I mean, it seems like it's just gonna slowly go away as the photons break it down into more and more light. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, that, that is, that is certainly something. Look at it go. What a marvel. <laughs> okay. I mean, antimatter, we know what that does. We know what deuterium does. We haven't tried warp. Does it just, oh, it just freaks everything out. Is it actually like a material? Does it just disappear? It looks like it just disappears. But it did freak everything out. <laughs> Alright. Well, I think... I think we learned a lot. Ooh, that was interesting. Hmm. I'm, I'm a big fan of all this. I'm going to learn how it all works. Um, I think my favorite so far is the exotic material just because it it makes no sense. <laughs> Probably makes sense to people who understand it. Let's just give everything a very nice electron bath now. Electron bath. How can I give it an electron bath? That's under here. Okay, nice. Electron. Ooh. Oh, look at it go! The world is being eaten by a rainbow. Honestly, it doesn't seem that violent, though. The temperature isn't high this time. I don't think we got it to the, uh... The max... Oh, there we go. There we go. That was enough to freak it out. Huh. Well, I will say that this game never ceases to impress me with the wacky things you can do in it. So, thank you all for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys all next time on the Powder Toy. You guys have been enjoying it, and I've been enjoying it too. Today we just kind of did a quick rundown on things to learn it, um, and next time, maybe, we can use what we learned today to make bigger explosives or engines, exotic matter engine. How would that even work? Who knows? I don't. Peace out.